Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Close Combat Abridge Too Far. Last time we fought an uh, inconclusive battle at the Arnhem Bridgehead. We destroyed some tanks, we lost some guns. Uh, it was tough. Now we're going to try and defend the Oosterbeek Landing Zone, which is still our main, maybe only way to reinforce this area. Uh, we're here in the Landing Zone. That's where we fought last time at the Bridgehead. You, those of you watching are probably used to all of that by now. Um... Let's see, what can we get? Here we have a little better options. Probably get another 17-pounder anti-tank gun. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. And let's get... Oh, I really don't want to hit too much of the sector points because we might need those on the bridgehead on the north side. So let's... Let's see. Let's pick up a half team, I guess. And then we'll leave, hopefully leave the rest of the sector points for the other part. And I will, I will set up a moment. We definitely don't want our one gun way up here ahead of everyone. Wow, we have everything but right there. I know they're going to have some stupid mortars, which are going to make me full of anger. All right, it's a little risky, but we're going to have both of our guns here. Our 17-pounders, our big anti-tank guns. We're going to have a Vickers here. This one's going to have no cover. I thought about putting it in the farmhouse here. Maybe I should have, but... I just, I'm more worried about the field here covering this landing zone. We're going to have an ad hoc team here to look here. We're going to have an ad hoc team here, which will probably die. Whenever I put guys in the woods, they die. You can see there's the woods. If you're this far in the LP, you already knew that, but whatever. We're going to have a Piat unit hidden up here. You know, anti-tank shit. Ad hoc unit here. Rifle guys in here. Brenner in here. And we'll put another Piat unit and hide it there, just in case the tank shows up there. And let's begin this shit. Oh, fuck. That sounds bad. Yeah, we just blew up one of their tanks. Hell yeah. That was a good way to start. Oh, I keep forgetting that when our 17-pounders uh, go off, that they, they sound like... Oh, man, I don't like that tank coming up. You guys here, we need to move you guys up. Move you up that way. Can you hit that? No. It's kind of protected there. Actually, you're going to stop firing up there. We're going to go to hide. The 17-pounder will. Because I want to save the ammo in case this tank comes out so we can hit it. Um, I think I told you to stop shooting, didn't I? Oh, wait. That must be this guy shooting. That's cool. You guys keep sneaking up here. This is a better start than I expected. I mean, I don't want to jinx it or nothing, but these little Mark IV tanks, they're, they're still okay tanks, but we've got enough firepower where those aren't as hard to destroy. You can hit those head-on with the right size gun. It's not like fighting a panther head-on. See, he's smart. He doesn't dare move it out of here because as soon as he moves it into our range, we could hopefully light it up. Yep, we don't have any targets anymore. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Come on, right here. Can we please hit that thing? Before it gets on the other side of the hedgerow. Please, please, please. Please aim and hit that. Why are you suppressed? Nobody's shooting at you. Uh, it says our gunner's suppressed. Nobody... Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit. I think that was a direct hit, or it was pretty close, and we did not do anything to it. Please. Please hit this. Reload! Faster, faster, faster. Please reload. Oh, no, that was a miss. That was definitely a miss. Um, you guys keep sneaking up. Keep sneaking up. Keep sneaking up. Oh, man. Quit doing this dance in front of us, Mark IV tank, and just die already. Please. Yeah! Hell yeah. I think that's all the tanks. My Vickers unit got fucked up here by mortars or maybe by their tank. I don't know. Move completed. I'll probably let these guys defend. Let's have you guys sneak up here and see what you can see. 
hear those damn mortars going off left and right. We'll have you sneak up. Have you sneak up. Let's have you guys move up here. I do worry about that because their mortars could still take out one of our 17 pounder guns. These are pretty valuable. Shoots and A's. Move completed. Any chance they can fire down here? Oh, is that guy? guy <laughs> he's shooting pretty close to the house. Come on, I want to see these guys get exploded by these big guns. That would be awesome. Yeah! That only got one of them, but... Oh, don't, don't shoot back at us. That's mean. Um, <laughs> holy fuck! No, no, no! I don't like those Panda Shreks there. That worked out really good. <laughs> The battle ended because the Germans were routed from the map. The Allies gained control of the area, but the Germans are expected to launch a counterattack. The German forces took excessive losses. We are only expected to have 54 progress by the end of the day, and we have 80, so we're ahead. We kind of crushed them. It's a good thing we didn't use a lot of sector points on this. I mean, they still have some units left. A mortar, a machine gun, and part of a shoots and one reserve guy. It's a good thing, though, that we didn't use more of the sector points because we're going to need them in the next battle. Because we're going to need them here as we continue to try and secure the Arnhem Bridge. We still... 30 Core is still right here. 30 Core in two hours after the 700 hours will be fighting here. Oh! <laughs> Damn you, Monte. Next time, I'll be up there.